You better buckle up for this one as we explore why things just got worse with Microsoft Windows' new recall feature. This thing hasn't even been released yet, and it's causing quite a stir at this point. So what is recall? It's a way to retrace your steps as posed on Windows 11. It allows you to search across the time to find your content that you need. We reviewed this in a previous video and some of the things that are wild about it, including what it says here, snapshots are locally stored and locally analyzed on your PC. It says snapshots are taken every five seconds while the content on your screen is different from the previous snapshot. So that's right, this new recall feature is going to take screenshots of your computer in different states. That way you can use fancy machine learning or AI to look things up when you forget them. Now the minimum requirements here are quite interesting. A Copilot Plus PC, we discussed what a Copilot Plus PC, Microsoft just released news on this new type of a PC that they're trying to sell to the masses. You need 16 gigs, eight logical processors, at least 256 six gigs of storage and at least 50 gigabytes of free storage space for this feature to work. So saving screenshots automatically pauses on the device that has less than 25 gigs of storage. So good news for those of you running on 25 gigs of storage or less, you won't have the recall feature. Anyways, this video here is to talk about this search with recall feature as we're getting more and more articles, including on The Verge, Bleeping Computer, Tom's, and many more sites. Well, it turns out that this search with recall feature that was marketed towards only Copilot Plus PCs and which were built on the ARM architecture aren't just available on Copilot PCs. But why in the world would they try to give us this recall overview and talk about the various different system requirements, including that Copilot Plus PC? Well, it's currently available only on the new Copilot Plus PC. Notice that word right here, currently available only. And the users that are actively supported are on the Windows SDK version 10 here here, including Windows 10 build or later. So funny enough, many of you have not really been worried about Microsoft's new recall tool feature because, well, it was sold with the Copilot Plus PCs. Their new line of optimized for machine learning computers with neural processing units. But we all know that every hardware vendor is trying to boast their latest and greatest in AI, including AMD unveiling its next gen Zen 5 Ryzen processors to power advanced AI experiences, and the new fifth gen Intel Xeon processor that's built with AI acceleration in every core, it'd be pretty silly for Microsoft just to give this product only for Copilot Plus PCs. Instead, what I believe is happening here, and it seems to be starting to get confirmed by people such as Albacore here, this currently seems to be a marketing deal to sell some hardware before releasing the recall feature to the masses. So Albacore here says, making great progress enabling recall on the current ARM64 hardware. No fancy X Elite in sight should theoretically work on Intel AMD 2. OEMs only receive ARM64 specific ML or machine learning model bundles, so there's not much I can do. Here's a small demo video showing off screen ray. All right, they open recall here, and sure enough, they get the application running in the background, and they're able to briefly use a timeline up top, which is quite intriguing, meaning any ARM-based processor seems to be able to run this, specifically the 64-bit version. But weren't we being told that only Copilot plus PCs are able to run this thing? Well, you can imagine that that wasn't quite the case. As Albacore actually posted a article on Tom's Hardware, how to try Windows 11 recall AI feature right now, even on unsupported hardware. That's right, not only on ARM64, on unsupported hardware as well. Basically what this boils down to is, as long as you have a neural processing unit, you can pretty much run this thing. And there's already people building and emulating recall on regular PCs and even on normal processors, which is kind of wild. So if you want to check this out and see how you can start testing testing it yourself. Well, I'll put a link in the description below to this specific article. Thanks to Albacore for writing this out for us. It's quite the read. And now I definitely want to get into some of the reasons that this is becoming more and more of a privacy nightmare. As the introduction of Microsoft Copilot Plus PCs with their MPU, which is separated from the CPU, and of course the GPU, well, we can now see that there are many, many different hardware vendors who are going to support these Copilot Plus PCs. Even though suggesting the reliance on MPUs, clearly users have found ways to enable recalls on existing ARM64 architectures without actually having to use an MPU, albeit it runs slow on these other architectures and they have to 
to be actually emulated through some sort of an ARM64 emulator, but nonetheless, they can be ran on different types of CPUs and architectures. Last time we talked about how recalls data is processed locally, and there was many a concern of encryption and accessibility by hackers because this feels like a constant monitoring system. I mean, it's taken screenshots every five seconds before it was saying every three seconds. They must have realized that that was too much data to process or something. Not sure what happened there. And we can all probably guess that the default activation here for recall on Windows 11 and probably Windows 10 is going to be standard with limited control on the user as most things that are introduced on Windows come to us. And the overall community sentiment is pretty wild. Another great post here by Kevin Beaumont says, stealing everything you've ever typed or viewed on your Windows PC is now possible with two lines of code inside of Copilot plus Recall Disaster. Of course, there are privacy risks here from things like defaulting this new feature on many computers to making it difficult to disable. What will happen when it's finally released? Is it something you're gonna have to disable in the registry? Is there gonna be a simple, yes, no, I wanna opt in, opt out type of thing? Well, it became worse because we now understand that it's available to run on many systems, not just their Copilot Plus PCs. Of course, there's security and vulnerability concerns, including making Windows more susceptible to attacks. There's already trust issues with Microsoft's track record on security and privacy breaches, and it just seems like an unnecessary feature, especially with the overall community sentiment seemingly being very negative. In this particular post, the author goes through a QA and a with themselves. I highly suggest reading it because you might want to start considering an alternative such as Linux or Mac if you have concerns over this privacy and security of the recall feature. And if you want more people to understand and know the concerns here, make sure to smash that like button as we read a few of these. The data process entirely locally on your laptop, right? Yes, they've made smart decisions here. The whole subsystem for Azure AI, etc. code that's processed on the Edge, edge just means locally. Cool, so hackers and malware can't access it, right? Answer, no, they can. Question, but it's encrypted. Answer, when you're logged into a PC and run software, things are decrypted for you. Encryption at rest only helps if somebody comes to your house and physically steals your laptop. That isn't what criminal hackers do. And that's correct. Initially said by the BBC, which said data cannot be accessed remotely by hackers. Well, they were quoting Microsoft, but this is wrong. Data can be accessed remotely. Which the most interesting part to me was, that everything's being stored in a local SQL-like database in the user's folder. Now, this might not be what it ends up being in the future, but for now, that seems like a silly way to store data. And Kevin Beaumont went as far as automating a way to exfiltrate this plain text database, which is pretty wild. As right here, Microsoft told media outlets a hacker cannot exfiltrate the Copilot plus recall activity remotely. So if this doesn't make you second guess a little bit using this new recall feature in the future, well, I don't know what to tell you besides just make sure when it comes out that you think about disabling it as the privacy concerns are significant. There's a huge potential intrusive nature here. And as mentioned by many, could be considered a privacy nightmare. No one seems to be happy about this new recall feature, at least with the people who are concerned about privacy and security. Let me know what you think about all this. But even the former chief of staff at CISA and Brian Ware, the former director of the cybersecurity and a former director of cybersecurity at the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. That's what CISA stands for. This is what they said about Recall. The unveiling of Microsoft Recall, a time machine-like memory aid that will take a snapshot of the new Copilot Plus PC computer every five seconds, certainly does not seem to align with the thinking that they're prioritizing security over functionality, said Kirsten Todd, the former chief of staff at CISA. Brian Ware, CISA's former director of cybersecurity, shared a similar sentiment when asked about recall. The idea of our most egregiously insecure software company would be delivering that capability is shocking and terrifying, he said. And just to take things home, initially this feature was marketed as an exclusive to Copilot Plus Cs that were equipped with these neural processing units, which there was already significant concern about privacy and safety, but people have already demonstrated how the recall function and or if you want to call it feature can be ran on on regular PCs with an ARM64 processor. Yes, there are performance drawbacks. This shows us the potential for adoption across all systems. And why wouldn't Microsoft want to do that after they've sold a few of those Copilot Plus PCs? At least in my opinion, despite Microsoft's assurance on how this data is stored, hopefully it's not in a simple SQL-like database that for the most part is treated like a file and could be moved around. Relying on 
disk encryption is not enough and opens up the feature to significant risks. And there really needs to be stronger data protection measures if this type of feature is going to be used by the masses. I personally don't know who thought this was a good idea at Microsoft to give to their flagship Windows operating system, but we'll see how things roll out and shape up in the following months as this feature is getting introduced to more and more people. I wasn't initially going to do this video, but things just got worse with recall. Come over to the secure side. Think about testing out Linux today. I'll catch you in another video. Video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.